16, we of course want to help you out plan out your day. So let's get over to meteorologist Alan Rose. And Bria, we'll start out with that out the door forecast. Relatively mild compared to other areas here in Southern Colorado. The Springs Airport at 36. At last check, Manitou was around 27. So use your judgment. Maybe check your phone app before you leave the house. But based on that 36, I'm going to say the jacket, the layer, a good idea. You could probably leave the hat and gloves, the winter boots at home or in the car because it's just not that cold right now in Colorado Springs. Now, taking a look at that hour by hour forecast, I think we briefly could dip down to the 20s around sunrise and then warm up quickly once that sun comes out. We do have a few clouds in place today from a system moving south of us, and that's going to drop highs around 5 to 10 degrees compared to what we saw yesterday, but still a high of 46. Not bad for this time of the year, actually slightly above average here at the Colorado Springs Airport. So here's storm number one. We're tracking in a series of storms that will move through the region over the next several days. This one is going to stay well to our south. Just some cloud cover this morning. Sunshine expected through the afternoon. You can see on future cast those clouds thinning out from north to south, really only impacting areas south of, say, the springs through the early afternoon hours. And then as we make our way to the evening, still expecting those clear skies. That'll set the stage for a cold colder night here in southern Colorado. Two bigger storms follow this first system. The next one moves in Thursday to early Friday, and then perhaps the most potent storm of this cycle. This moves in as we make our way towards the end of the upcoming weekend. So let's take a look at future cast and give you some details on the first system. I think we're dry for that Thursday morning commute. Snow will be falling in the mountains at that time, but once we head into the afternoon on these longer range models, we look for the darker blue for the most impactful snow, the heavier snow with the system and we will start to see that up and down the I-25 corridor into the eastern plains. Looks like the brunt of the storm will impact southern Colorado versus northern parts of the state. And I think the snow will fall from Thursday afternoon through early Friday morning. So there could be some impacts to that Thursday evening commute as well as that Friday morning commute. Just a little heads up to help you plan ahead late this week. Highs today seasonably cool will be a little cooler than what we saw yesterday, but still pretty close to average with a mix of 30s and 40s and maybe up a degree or two on Wednesday before some bigger changes developing late this week. So round number one of snow for us moves in around Thursday afternoon. It'll continue through early Friday morning. An early estimate, I'm going to say around one to three inches of accumulation here in the Pikes Peak region. We're dry on Saturday and then that next storm moves in with not only another round of snow, but some much colder air and some very strong winds potentially by early next week. For Pueblo, dry skies and upper 40s through Wednesday. I've got highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s through Saturday, and then that colder system moves in as we head towards Sunday to Monday. Canyon City, a taste of winter follows these more pleasant conditions. That moves in with round number one of snow late this week, a second round of snow during the late weekend to early next week time period. For Woodland Park, low 40s through Wednesday with sunshine. That gives way to snow from Thursday into early Friday and a more potent storm possible as we head towards the end of the weekend.